Mrs. Wu are looking for a place to stay. With their first child coming along, they are in an urgent need of an apartment. The price of houses in Singapore is getting higher and higher. It is so difficult for us to buy a house. Exactly. With an increasing number of people investing in properties by reselling their house for a quick profit and an influx of foreigners to Singapore, the demand of houses have been increasing rapidly. But not to worry, we have... The government guy! From August 31st, 2010, concurrent ownership of HDB property will be restricted. Hence, anybody owning a private property and a HDB unit at the same time will be asked to sell off his private property within six months. Ooh. Therefore, this will decrease the demand among speculators who want to invest in properties. It will also free up more houses, thus increasing the supply. This will then lead to a decrease in equilibrium price. Wow. wow! That was an excellent policy to reduce the demand of houses. But what about the supply? Not to worry. In order for the supply to meet the demand of houses, the Housing Development Board will be offering more than 16,000 new flats in 2010 and up to 2,200 new flats in 2011. In addition, HDB will also release more land for tender to build more flats and condominiums. Ooh. Therefore, this will greatly increase the supply of houses in Singapore, allowing more units to be up for sale and thus decreasing the equilibrium price of houses. Wow! wow. Some time. Finally, we have purchased an apartment that is suitable for my family. But I do hope that the environment we are going to live in will allow my child to become a sociable person who is able to mingle with people of different backgrounds. Hmm. Not to worry. In response to Singapore's changing population, the Singapore government has decided to make a revision to the ethnic integration policy where the quota for non-Malaysian Singapore permanent residents has been set to 8% per block. Also, the quota for Indians and other minority races has increased by 12% to 15% per block. Ooh. Therefore, the EIP acts as a tool to prevent ethnic imbalance in housing estates. It provides an opportunity for citizens from various backgrounds to mix around and enjoy a collective experience with one another. By preventing racial enclaves from forming and promoting understanding and tolerance between races, it will prevent mistrust and misunderstanding between everybody. Yay! The end. Mr. Bombastic! We want some bombastic, romantic, fantastic lover. Shaggy! Mr. Lover, Lover. Mm. Now, Mr. Lover, Lover. Girl. Mr. Lover, Lover. Mm. Now, Mr. Lover, Lover.